Good frosty morning. <laughs> it is cold here in North Carolina. If you couldn't tell by the winter hat. But we're headed towards warmer weather. We're all hitched up and we're heading south. We're going to spend the Thanksgiving holiday down in Florida. Um, this is actually going to be our first trip in the solitude. Oh, look what I did. Uh, doing my walk around. Yeah, we're headed down to Florida. We're going to spend a week down there. And we're going to try this thing out full-time living to see if it's... Well, you know, like I said, this is, this is, we're going to try out full-time living for a week in this thing. And we're going to see if it's really for us. You know, a lot of people are doing full-time living in these trailers. And this is one of the more popular models. This is actually a great full-time extended stay travel trailer, fifth wheel actually. But we've never done it. And before we pack it up and do it all, um, I still have to work. So we're going to spend a week down in Florida pretty much living full time. And I'm going to document it. I'm going to record it all. And uh, I'm going to let you know if it's for us or not. This thing is big. It's not convenient for just picking up and going at a drop of a dime. The Airstream, I could just jump in it and go, Psh, no problem. This thing it takes a lot of prep work, a lot of planning, um, and you can't fit everywhere, so you have to consider that. Um, it's it's definitely a full-time rig, you know. It's something that you'll be able to plan your trips and 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 do stuff like that. <sighs> it's not really the way I like to travel, and you know, if we go full-time, it's not going to be till next year. So, I've got this big thing sitting here next to the house. And all the kind of camping that I want to do, I can't do right now. So I'm not totally sold on it, but this is the first time we're going to use it. So I'm going to I'm going to give it its trial run. I'm going to see how much I enjoy it or not. And uh, who knows? At the end of this week, I may fall in love with this thing. But right now, I'm undecided. So if you want to know my opinions on the Grand Design Solitude and living and working out of it full time and some of the modifications I've done inside. I've only done a couple, nothing, nothing major. Um, stay tuned and uh, I'll let you know all the dirty secrets. All right, I'm going to go finish doing my walk around, some five, uh, last minute stuff. I got to round up the dogs because that's another thing. We're going to be traveling with two big Labradors who, by the way, are not too keen on climbing up and down these stairs. It's another thing I have to consider. We travel with two big dogs. Oh, <laughs> and a 30 pound cat. So me and my wife, a 30 pound cat and two Labradors each weighing 100 pounds. Maybe I'm over payload. I don't know, we're gonna find out. Stay tuned, I'm spilling the tea on full time living. <laughs> 